study the characteristics of solid what are the characteristics of solid how they are going to differentiate from the others also so first characteristic of solid is solid have definite shape and distinct boundaries for example this container i am having so this container is having some definite or fixed shape you can say definite means fixed shape so i cannot stretch it this container i cannot means less the shape of this container i cannot change the shape no so the shape of this solid is always definite and distinct boundaries distinct boundary means whatsoever boundaries are there that is particular that is means visible to us that yes these are some distinct boundaries of this container so solids are having definite shape plus solid is having definite boundaries next we are having solids has a definite volume so for example this ball i am having okay first of all you should know what is a volume volume means the space occupied by an object space occupied by an object so space occupied by an object is known as its volume if i will keep this ball on like on table so that ball will take the same space no they will it will take the uh, same volume if i will keep the same volume on same ball on ground on ground also this ball will take the same space only or it will not increase or decrease its space so the volume of the solids are having fixed volume definite means fixed you can say so solids are always having definite volume they are not going to change their volume at all fine next we are having solids do not flow as you can see when you pour the liquid on the surface of the ground liquid or water can flow easily but solids do not flow why solids do not flow because in solids particles are very closely packed with each other due to this attractive due to this more attraction between the particles of the solid they cannot flow okay so solids do not flow next we are having solids are rigid and cannot be compressed solids are rigid means solids are hard solids are hard and we cannot compress the solid can i compress that this table and can i change the shape of this table with my hands no obviously because you can see in solid particles are very close to each other and we cannot compress the solid and we cannot like change the position of particles so we cannot uh, compress the solids easily next we are having the mass of a solid having a fixed volume is usually more if we are having one solid like here i am having one solid this is a solid television this is a liquid contained in a beaker and these are gases the mass of solid is always more than mass of liquid and mass of liquid is always more than mass of gas why because in solid particles are very closely packed to each other due to very close packing the mass per unit volume is more or density is more you can say and due to more particles more particles means what mass is more so what is mass first of all see what is the mass mass is quantity of matter contained in a substance mass means quantity of matter contained in a substance so if quantity of matter means if particles are more particles are more means mass is more so in solids mass is more why because particles are more per unit volume in liquids mass is less per as particles are less per unit volume as compared to gas so mass of solid is more as compared to liquid and gases next we are having the constituent molecules of solids are closely packed this i already told you that the solids are in solids particles are very closely packed with each other when we can say they are very closely packed then you can say that intermolecular space intermolecular space between the solid is what more or less you can check the space here space is more or less between the particles space is less so intermolecular space is less and what about intermolecular force of attraction as i already told you if two molecules are very close to each other so very close means their intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction is what more or less 
intermolecular force of attraction is more as particles are very close to each other particles close to each other means their force of attraction is also very much high fine so intermolecular space in the solids are less and intermolecular force of attraction in the solids are more next we are having intermolecular force this we have already done that intermolecular force between the solids are quietly strong fine next characteristic we are having the solid may be transformed into liquid by heating it up as for example i am having here ice cube here i am having ice cube you can say this also in this beaker i am having ice cube when i will heat the ice cube what it happens what will happen so obviously this ice cube will converts into water which means we can easily convert the solids into liquid how we can convert solid into liquid by heating it up obvious we have to heat the solid then only it can convert into liquid so the fixed temperature the temperature what i am giving to this solid so that it converts into liquid that fixed temperature is known as its melting point so what is in it the solid can be transformed into liquid okay solid can be transformed into liquid by heating it up by heating it up and the fixed temperature at which solid is converting into liquids that fixed temperature is known as melting point as we know when ice is melting so here you can use melting only na so melting point ice can melt only 